What's up guys, my name is Lukun2002 here, and in this video, I'm going to be doing an update to the how to get a mod menu in Black Ops 2 video I did a couple days ago. A couple of you guys had trouble, and I did put out a little bit of some misinformation, in which I do apologize greatly for, and I do appreciate everyone who's been correcting me on it. But hopefully in this video, I will not make any more mistakes, in which you guys can actually get your own mod menu and get it to work on your own console. So... Other than that, let's get to the video. So first of all, this will only work on the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One. This mod menu will not work unless you do the following steps over and over again every time you go onto Black Ops 2, as it is not a permanent thing, it's not gonna stay on your account forever. The stats will, but not the mod menu itself. You can use this in a custom game, and you can also use this online in a public game. So, let's get started. You guys are gonna go ahead and load up Black Ops 2, go to multiplayer on your Xbox One or your 360, then, once you guys are in multiplayer, go ahead and go to barracks. Once you guys hit on barracks or hit A on barracks, you guys are going to go ahead and go to leaderboards. Once you guys are on leaderboards, what you're going to do is you're going to go and find capture the flag. Once you find capture the flag, you're going to go into capture the flag by hitting A on it and hit Y to change filter. Once you guys hit Y to change filter, you guys are going to change from players to all and apply the filter. Hit X to go to the top of the list and you guys should see this guy named Xbox 360 is best. Go ahead and hit A on him to view his player card and go to his player channel. Go to his edited films and you guys should see all of these films he has. Now all you're really looking for is Jiggy Part 1 which is right here. Go ahead and save that and you're also looking for Jiggy Part 2 which is right here. Go ahead and save that as well. Now, if you want your friend to actually have co-host with you, you can go ahead and actually save this one, but I wouldn't recommend you save it. This is just like an extra clip if you want your friend to have it, but go ahead and load Jiggy Part 1 in the theater mode. So as you see here, I loaded it up and go ahead and start the film. Now, this is probably the longest part of how to actually get a mod menu as all you have to do is just watch this clip. You can't do anything. Don't pause or anything. Just watch the clip. And if you guys get any problems like watching it, like it freezes on you or it says buffering, go ahead and just restart the game or restart the clip and just try and rewatch it so you can actually watch it all until it does actually freeze. So all you simply need to do is just watch this clip, that's all, until it does freeze in which you can actually end the clip and go on to the next clip which is going to be Jiggy Part 2. So as you see here, once it does actually freeze, you're actually going to go ahead and actually wait a couple of seconds then hit start to go ahead and end the film. So once you do end the film, obviously like I said, go ahead and load up Jiggy Part 2 so then you can watch in which you can actually get the mod menu entirely. So I'm loading it up right here. Once it does load up, you guys can go ahead and start the film. Once you do start the film, it's the exact same thing with Jiggy Part 1. All you have to do is just sit there and watch the entire clip until it does actually freeze in which you can actually have the mod menu inside your game in which you can actually use in public games and in custom games as well and have fun with your friends so go ahead and just watch the clip As you see here, the clip froze in which it can actually hit start and go ahead and end the film. And at that point, you guys will have the mod menu as all you have to do to go and make sure they do have the mod menu is go into custom games, go and load up the game, go ahead and spawn in. And here's the mistake I accidentally told you guys in the last video. So how to actually pull up the mod menu is very simple. All you have to do is hit LT and the button you use to actually knife at the same time. So whatever button you use to knife, go ahead and hit that and LT at the same time and you guys should pop up with the mod menu in front of you. I apologize greatly for actually misinforming you guys as LT and B or B was the button I actually used to knife with and that's what I thought was for everyone so I apologize greatly for that. Now let me actually show you guys how to actually use them online. So this is what you do. You're going to go and pull up the mod menu and you're going to go to where it says host only. Once it says host only, you'll go ahead and hit A on it and it's going to say force host. Go ahead and activate that and as soon as you see it on the bottom left, force host on, that's whenever you need to exit out of your mod menu and go ahead and end the game. Once you guys are out of the game, you guys can go ahead and search for a game online, whatever mode you want to use the mod menu in. And it's going to take a long time for you guys to actually find a game because there are going to be players that are barely playing this game and that you might run into you. But once you guys actually load in the game, it's basically the same thing, LT and whatever button you use to actually knife with. And at the same time, and you guys will pull up with the mod menu. So at that point, 
you guys can use this online you guys can use this in a custom game and that's basically it for the video let me know if you have any questions down below and follow all my social medias they're all down in the description below other than that have a good day guys and yeah for Kun 2002 signing out <laughs>